हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स येट अनदर यूजफुल वीडियो फॉर ऑल माय डियर स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स हु आर फॉलोइंग मी फॉर सो मच टाइम एंड यू नो ऑल द प्लेसमेंट एग्जाम्स यू नो एक्सपीरियंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर क्वांट एग्जाम्स दिस इज स्पेशली फॉर यू एंड बाय फॉलोइंग दिस यू विल सेव लॉट ऑफ टाइम इन योर एग्जाम्स एंड यू विल बिकम स्मार्टर विद योर कैलकुलेशन सो हाउ डू यू एड एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट फ्रैक्शन you know whenever adding and subtracting fractions if i say to somebody the first concept that will come into mind is what lcm right what if i tell you that without finding the lcm of the denominators you can actually add and subtract the fractions surprise was the entire video you will learn that skill today and i'm sure this video will go a long way in making you competent and be among those top 1% students who can actually add and subtract fractions mentally yes mentally right so i'll take lots of examples for you but you need to do one favor just subscribe the channel so click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell shaped icon so that you can get all the notifications whenever i come live and whenever i post all these useful videos you don't miss out on anything okay friends thank you for subscribing <laughs> let's see the first example which i am going to take up a very simple example so that you learn the concept first suppose i need to add 3 by 4 and 5 by 6 okay now what am i going to do what will most of the students will do even the 9th and 10th class students you know they will do the lcm of 4 and 6 as 12 right eliminating the highest common factor hcf now if you don't want to find the lcm what do you have to do this has to be replaced by something right this is elimination of hcf highest common factor now lcm is always found out by eliminating the highest common factor i'll show you how see 4 and 6 in this case right the denominators what is the highest common factor can you tell me The highest common factor between four and six is two, right? So if I take the product of four and six and divide the result by the HCF, that is twenty-four by two, I will get the LCM. And let's not complicate by thinking that we are finding LCM. Okay, let's remember the step. Okay. Now this is the logic. Whatever I do here is based on this. logic i am trying to eliminate the highest common factor between the denominators right so watch i know that the highest common factor between 4 and 6 is 2 so i will divide 4 by 2 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3 now instead of using 4 and 6 I got two O prime numbers. Two and three are not divisible by any other number because I have eliminated the highest common factor between four and six. And now just do the butterfly. Three times three is nine plus five times two is ten. And finally the denominator. Either do four times three or do six times two. You are going to get the same answer, and that's actually the LCM which you find through the traditional method of putting the lines and making all sorts of factors. Eliminating the LCM gives you the LCM directly. Four times three, twelve. Six times two, twelve. So just write twelve here and get your answer. Nineteen by twelve. Now this is a skill. Okay, you you have to be very good in finding the LCM. did you see the video which i posted yesterday that was based on finding the hcf and i was trying to make a base of this video so if you can find the hcf of big numbers mentally then adding and subtracting fractions it is just nothing for you i have taken very small example right now let me enter into little bit of larger examples okay let's see this suppose i have to do 7 upon 25 and say subtract 1 upon 20 from that now see again the students are going to struggle here because they will find lcm of 25 and 20 so what will i do the highest common factor of 25 and 20 obviously is 5 they are divisible by 5 so 5 5 times is 25 5 4 times is 20 so i will do 7 times 4 which is 28 because i am subtracting there is a minus sign 
1 times 5 is 5 and in the denominator what did I tell you? Either do 20 times 5 100 or do 25 times 4 100 and you have your answer 28 minus 5 is 23 upon 100 is the difference. Feeling better now? I hope you are feeling better because this is not difficult. This is like something very very basic which all of us should do but we are not doing it. We are stuck in the traditional methods. Let's see one. Uh, maybe a problem of uh, uh, addition again. Let's take a little bit of a complicated, uh, kind of complicated, okay. 11 upon 16 and I want to add, uh, uh, let's add uh, 13 upon 40 to that. Oh wow, LCM of 16 and 40, so many people will struggle here. But I know 16 and 40 are divisible by 8, 8 2s are 16, 8 5s are 40, so this is 55 plus 13 twos are 26 and divide by either do 16 fives are 80 or do 40 twos are 80 and you have your answer what 81 upon 80 or you can convert it into a mixed number that doesn't matter right we have anyway added these big fractions so friends things are not at all difficult it's just the way we think about them the numbers in the mind okay the first thing that comes in number, oh let's make factors you will make factors only right so that's very important you know what do you get in your mind okay let's see one now we are complicating things here we have 13 upon let's take 34 okay and how about subtracting 7 upon 51 from this now see so difficult if you don't know the logic if you know the logic so easy 17 2s are 34, 17 3s are 51. So 2 times and 3 times, just do this, 39, just do this, 14 and which one is easier, this one or this one? I think 51 double is 102, that is easier. So you get what? This is 25 upon 102. Just check if there is a common factor, there is no common factor, this is your answer for the question. Now I'll give you some DIY advice before and before that I'll do one more question, okay? Now things will not get difficult, right? See, uh, suppose we have a number like 29 upon 57 minus 3 upon 95. Oh my God! So can we subtract that easily? Finding 57 and 95 LCM is going to consume like so much of time for maximum number of students, but if you know how to eliminate the highest common factor and then get to the LCM, it is very easy, very easy, see. Well, what are the factors of 57? It is 3 times 19. 3 doesn't divide 95, so it has to be 19. 19 fives are 95, wow. So 19 is the highest common factor, I'll eliminate that. 19 threes are 57 and 19 fives are 95. So 29 times 5, 290, half, half of 290 is 145 minus 3 times 3 pretty easy 9 and in the denominator which one is easier 95 times 3 or 57 times 5 do it in your uh, own uh, manner you know whichever you feel comfortable in for me both of them are 285 right and so your answer for the question is 135 136 upon 285 see subtracted the big fractions easily so easily Okay, so I'll give you some DIYs. Okay, so you need to answer in the chat whether you could do it through this method or not and how much time you took. The first question is let's do 7 upon 18 plus 11 upon 26. You will do this. The second one is let's do um, 13 upon 55 and subtract 3 upon 77 from that. Easy one, see 55, 77, very easy, no? I hope you are getting the correct thing in the mind, okay? And the last one, uh, let's take a multiple of 5 will be easier. Uh, let's do 7 upon 75 and add 19 upon 45 to that. So you have to tell me what are the answers of these three questions using the method which I told you. And if it works, do share this video with all your friends that is really really important you know spreading education and you can contribute to the channel by 
spreading the links of the videos with your friends okay so friends if you like this video do share it do share it that's my request and uh, i hope you have subscribed the channel by now and you must be getting all the links on your mobile because you have clicked the bell shaped icon thanks for watching this and all the best